All right, so here's my car charger box uh, version two. You can see the cables running along there. Um, right now I have the garage slightly open so I can kind of show. So this pulls out. I actually made part of the flap from this box sticking out. And then this box is here so when I close the garage on it, it will kind of hold this flap down. All right, we have the box or the cable actually coming through over there in that corner. I cut a little notch. So let me see if I can show this. Um, okay, I guess, oh, you can kind of see it. There you go. The light doesn't work right. It's not focusing for you guys. <laughs> All right, it's not really focusing, but you can kind of see it in there, okay? So basically, we have the wire going in from that bottom corner over there, okay? Again, I can't really get it to focus right for you guys, I don't think. So, yeah, but it's down there in that corner. It's coming up through here, through this hole here. I'm gonna rotate this so I can close the garage like before. If you saw before, I have this like advertisement credit card stuff. I cut a slit in the side of the box, slid this card through, and then I use a second card on there to kind of help keep it in one direction so it stays up that way. Okay, then I can hold this and I can actually pull this as far out as I want. Let me close the garage and I'll show you how I put the, um, put the cable in there. All right, I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. Here you can see the box right now. Oops, I probably should have helped push this in a bit more before closing the garage. Now it's kind of sticking out. But here you can see that tab and that help hold it in place. Um, probably if I open the garage and fix that, it'll probably be better. All right, it's probably good enough. All right, anyways, so the way I put this back in... So I'll bring this end over here. If anything, I could always just leave it up here. Um, it might fall on the floor, so I'll just put it down here. But basically what I do is I just push this in. All right, so eventually this will kind of droop down and then you can see it hits the ground. So it's actually pointing downwards now. And if I angle it to push it back in that way, then it will continue letting more of the cable go in. Then it hits the wall over there. So what I do is I angle it down and I push that in. Okay, then it does the same thing. It starts going against the wall. And then same thing, back down. And then against the wall, back down. And as you can see, it kind of helps guide itself into place. And you just keep pushing it in. Okay, whenever it gets stuck, you just change the angle up or down. Like that. And there you go. And this hole I cut to fit this kind of perfectly. And it just goes in like that. So you can angle it however, depending how it's like the cable is at the time of how you put it back in. But there you go. And that's my small compact one. And hopefully no one's gonna think it's an actual package and try and steal. I mean, they'll see this sticking out. So um, that's part of the reason why I put it like that. So they can't really steal it. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's my new design. Um, this part, I put this tab so I can open it if I need to open it and fix something. Maybe if that card breaks off, but I taped it up pretty well. So I don't think it'll come out. And it's also right underneath this eaves thing here. So the rain doesn't really get here unless it's pouring really hard with a lot of wind. Um, but because it's like right at the wall, the chance of it get that happening is very small. If it does happen and this thing dies, um, I'll look for maybe a plastic alternative that I can make this or metal and Yeah, if I can remake this in plastic or metal, I will have to make sure that these aren't sharp the edges um, But yeah, uh, this works pretty well Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, and if you're wondering how this is plugged in inside um, I have another video showing where I took two 120 volt or 110 volt outlets and that are on separate circuits and combined them into one 240 volt um, and that or 220 volt, which is whatever, depending on what you're going by. And it allows me to do 15 amps, um, 240 volts out of this charger. This charger actually supports up to 32 amps, but with the setup I have, I don't do beyond 15 amps. But um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.